Now let's begin inshaAllah ta'ala with uh, a little bit of a discussion on the wording of the surah from the beginning. Iqra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. This is one of the few surahs of the Qur'an that begin with a commandment. You know the narration, the Messenger والسلام, is by himself in the cave of Hira, he sees this incredible light, and it's Jibreel alayhi salam, he grabs him, and he feels like he's going to be crushed. And he's commanded, Iqra, and he responds, Ma ana biqari, I can't read, I don't know how to read. I am not one to read at all. Then he releases him, grabs him again, and says, Iqra, and again he responds, I'm not, I'm not capable of reading. And then the third time, and there are two narrations of this. One of them is, he said, you know, uh, the Messenger uh, or Jibreel Hassan recited the first few ayat. In another narration, the Messenger says, فَمَاذَا أَقْرَأْ What should I read? What sh- so he finally, you know, he gave in. He caved in and said, what should I read? And then the Messenger, uh, and the messenger Jibreel alayhi salam recited these ayat, اِقْرَأْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقْ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقْ اِقْرَأْ وَرَبُّكَ الْأَكْرَمْ أَلَّذِي عَلَّمَ بِالْقَلَمْ عَلَّمَ الْإِنسَانَ مَا لَمْ يَعْلَمْ Profound first revelation of Qur'an. And th- when this revelation was given, as I told you already, the messenger was horrified, he was terrified, and he in another narration says, كَأَنَّهُ مَكْتُوبًا عَلَىٰ قَلْبِي It was as though it was written on my heart. I felt as though the revelation that was given was written on my heart. So anyway, he rushes back, he asks that, that a blanket be put over him, he fears for his life, and all of this, you know, th- this uh, the narration goes forward. But now let's look at the language itself. What did Allah choose to say to His Messenger? What were the first words chosen? To be th- this Qur'an that we have in our possession, how was it introduced to human beings? This is the introduction of Qur'an to human beings. Iqra, number one, read. The first commandment in the Qur'an. The first message given to humanity, read. Read. But reading alone, you know reading has always been part of every intellectual civilization, right? But who is this messenger? An nabi al-Ummi, he doesn't even read. This command was not given to a society full of libraries and universities, a society that has a history of books and authors, nothing. Even the, their literature is poetry. And even their poetry is barely written, it's just memorized. There's not even you go to the library and find Arabic poetry is written in the Islamic era. It wasn't even written much before then. SubhanAllah. And in this society, Allah Azza wa gives the commandment of reading. Not only is the Messenger himself Ummi, the vast majority of people in that society were not read. They were not read. And this is part of the miracle of the Qur'an. In response to that command, the Muslims became the most educated civilization in history. The, the mass education, the way it spread in the Muslim Ummah is unlike any other. We developed the modern university system as it exists. The PhD system in the Western world, if you trace its history, it came from the Ijazah system in Islam. So higher academics and reading and research as we know it today, is actually rooted in Islamic civilization. SubhanAllah. These people that didn't even read themselves became the world leaders in reading. And this book that Allah gave, not even in the form of a book. You know, Qur'an was not revealed as a book. It was revealed in the form of just words, oral tradition. This orally related book became the mother of more books than any other in history. This one Qur'an is one book, but it gave birth to entire libraries across continents. So many tafas, every book of fiqh, every book of aqidah, every book of history, every in Islamic history, every book of tafsir, how many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people Generation after generation after generation have written and read and written and read all coming from what source book? From Qur'an, subhanAllah. It's just one little word and how it changed the world. How it changed the entire world around. It's a, it's a...